Hello there everyone, welcome to my digital tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to use Flipgrid in our lessons and make it more interactive. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and also join my Telegram group whereby you can also share your digitalized teaching resources. So what is Flipgrid? Flipgrid is now a popular tool because it has features that allow teachers or educators of any subject used to help students connect with each other. So in a way it is a video sharing tool. It is free and it is under Microsoft as well. So one thing that makes Flipgrid unique is that it is extremely user-friendly. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to use this with our students. So you need to go to their website. Their website is at info.flipgrid.com and then if you haven't have an account with them yet, you can sign up at educator sign up. So I've just signed in using my NOE account. Let me just show you the videos that I've shared with my students. This is the layout. As you can see, I already have a grid for this account and what is a grid? A grid is actually a topic that you can choose to create or share videos on and in that same grid you can have related topics to discuss about. Let me show you what I have created. Flipgrid is user friendly and you can link Flipgrid with your Google Classroom and that is why I had to create a new account using my MOE ID. So I started off by creating a topic on coping with COVID-19 lockdown. Okay, and the moment that I posted this topic, I got a lot of feedback from my students. Okay. Let me show you a video. So this is a page on topic details. As you can see, I had initiated a topic with my video recording okay and these are the responses from my students let me show you the video hi since our grid is about how you spend your time during COVID-19 lockdown I want you to send me videos on your activities that you do at home. Give me any sort of activity, maybe discovering new skills, having new hobbies, or even helping your parents to do house chores. So upload your videos and let's see what you're on about. Take care. Once I have posted the video in here, I'm able to get replies from students also in form of videos okay. let me show you a sample hi everyone it's me hi Mila. how are you i hope you are in good condition today i would like to share my activities during this control of movement so the first thing that I want to share is I have improved my cooking skills. Every day I will try to make a new dishes for my family. But sometimes I try to find a new dishes that are trending in media social. Yeah, it's good to try it. And it's fun. I feel so excited and enjoy. The second thing is when I have a free time, I will play my mobile game. Many people are saying that mobile games are wasting time, but for me, it has a lot of benefits. How it will improve how to solve a problem and how to survive. The last activity is I have watched a drama and movies. Huh? Yeah, I sometimes I watch in English subtitles. Sometimes I watch English movie. But I think there's a lot of benefits. They will improve my vocabulary and speaking. The last activity is sometimes I watch movie and drama with English subtitles. It will improve my vocabulary and speaking skills. 
I hope you guys are doing well and stay safe for during this outbreak. So there's a lot more video replies in here. Okay, you can see that the students have really put in their effort to reply to the topic that I've posted. Now it's obvious that this app called Flipgrid enables the students to use the targeted language. And if you are carrying out a speaking activity, this application would be perfect. So how are you going to do a lesson based on Flipgrid? So let me now show you how to pose a topic and assess your students using Flipgrid. And later, I'm also going to show you how you're going to link Flipgrid into your Google Classroom. In order for you to add a new topic, you will need to click on My Grids. And here, you will have an option for you to add new grid. The new grid is for you to add a new main topic. So I'm going to create a topic. It can be any topics. Let me find an easy one. Three people that I miss the most. Okay, that's a topic. And here, you can set the kind of privacy you want. Okay, if your students have Microsoft email ID or Google ID okay you can click on here but usually I would go on public because it's hassle free so here you will need to create a flip code a flip code is like a password where only students who has that code can enter your flip grade so I'm going to set an easy one something that's easier to type they have to people I miss okay okay you can add a password if you want to or you can just let it be okay click next okay, so your grid is ready go to your grid now you have created a new grid you can choose to edit your grid further by clicking on the pencil icon. Okay. You can choose to change the image. Right. Makes it more presentable. Click update. After you have finished editing your grid, you can now initiate the topic, add new topic, people that I miss. Okay, and you can also set the recording time, probably 2 minutes, 2 minutes 30 seconds. You can also set up to 10 minutes. So usually set around here, 2 minutes 30 seconds. And now you can record a video or add a video from different resources. So now I'm going to record a video to initiate the topic. Hey students, how are you doing? Okay, I have seen your previous videos. I'm impressed. And don't forget to keep the video coming. This time, you're going to tell me about three people that you miss during this MCO. I would love to hear about you. And once you have uploaded don't forget to respond to your friend's video as well. Okay, take care, stay safe. Now, if you're not happy with how your video turned out, you can always redo. Okay, you got this. Okay, I'm going to record again. Hi 
students how are you i've seen your videos and i'm impressed okay in this topic we're going to talk about three people that you miss during this mco it can be people from your school your tuition your neighborhood or even your relatives okay post a video about it and once you have posted it if you see your friend's video on the grid don't forget to respond on it as well okay see you and stay safe now you can choose to be more creative with your recording with the options down here you can choose to add stickers to your video when you're recording it okay uh, these are the stickers that they have okay next Now, Flipgrid will ask you to take a selfie before you upload this into your grid. Okay, so now I'm going to take a selfie. <laughs> so, this is a selfie that I've made of myself. And I've added in some tags and stickers to make it more relatable. Okay, it's now loading onto your grid. Create topic. So as you can see, your topic is ready. You can now share the topic. And link is given to you. Okay, you can copy this link. You can post it in your WhatsApp group that you have with your students. And you can also share it on your Google Classroom. Since I have my account linked with my Google Classroom, I'll just uh, post it in my Google Classroom. Okay, just the class that you want to share it with. And now I'm going to show you what you can do after you have received responses from your students. Okay, let me just show you an example. So here I have a response which I have just received last night and I have not viewed it yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and view this video. Hi everyone, my name is Hakimi. COVID-19 is a dangerous virus. The people must control of movement to break the chain of COVID-19. So I would like to share my activity during this slide. Okay. Assuming that I have finished watching his video, I'm now leaving a response on his video. So this is where I have to click on the reply button. So the recording process is pretty much the same. Okay, I'm going to leave a response. Hey Hakimi, I'm happy to see that you're keeping yourself in check. Okay, I think I should follow your steps as well. And I can't wait to see how you look when the school reopens. And now I'll just click next. And if you're happy with how your video looks like, you can just take a selfie. Add a sticker. You can choose to put in title if you want to. It's only optional. It's just a response video for your students. Just submit. Firstly, so anyone who has I responded to his video will stamina. have their pictures I here. Twice per day. I Second thing is I always reciting al so and that effort. I can come closer to God I and believe in Him. I'm During Ramadan, my impressed. family and I always recite reciting Al-Quran to strengthen our okay. relationship. Pick it up. The last activity is I always help my mom cook so I can easy there but then because of that I will learn something new and can improve my cooking skills. Alright. So if you think your student deserve a star on this, you can just choose to highlight this. So the fire icon here is to spark the video. Spark video in Flickr term is to 
choose the video as your next topic of discussion okay so you're done you cross and you have responded as you can see flipgrid is a useful platform whereby students are able to be expressive and creative it also allows you to interact with the students although you are at home and if you find my tutorial video useful kindly subscribe and join the telegram group for edu digital thank you and i'll see you in my next week